All right, well, one issue that's been on the minds of many is why an Amber Alert wasn't issued uh, in this case. Now, this morning on News 19 this morning, we told you it was a BOLO, which was be on the lookout for instead of an Amber Alert. Many viewers have been tweeting us and texting us throughout the day saying, I don't get it. Why are, are we all not getting Amber Alerts on our phone to be on the lookout for this little girl? Well, it's up to the investigating law enforcement agency to decide based on all of the following criteria that is determined by the U.S. Justice Department and basically it has to fit in those categories for it to be an Amber Alert. Well, the first thing is that law enforcement agencies have to believe that the child has been taken without permission from the child's parent or legal guardian. The child is 17 years old or younger and the law enforcement agency has to believe the child is in immediate danger. Next, all other possibilities for the victim's disappearance have to be reasonably excluded. There has to be information available to disseminate to the public about the suspect or vehicle used in that abduction, which was not available in this case immediately. And last, the child's name and other critical data have been entered in the NCIC. Again, all of these criteria need to be met before an Amber Alert can be issued.